Welcome to the Saturday Morning Show. Oh, I'm Jenny. And I'm Kristen. And this week, um, we're going to be talking about tattoos. And we're also going to talk to you about some headlines and stuff, as usual. So, ow! Stay tuned if you want to see the rest. This is looking great. This is for the rest of my life. Dude, that's amazing. Get some expression there. A lot of us are turning 18. Except for me. Except for her. <laughs> and so uh, the whole 18 thing, you know, like you can vote, which is boring to us anyway. No, that's actually a really oh, big deal. Yeah, it it's is. a huge deal. Okay, so we can vote and we can like buy stuff and everybody able to buy before, buy before, <laughs> and we can go places and whatever. And so. So basically, when you turn 18, you have a lot of doors to different opportunities open up. Super cool, right? Mm, can't wait. And uh, so a lot of our friends who are turning 18 lately have been getting tattoos. Tattoos, yeah. So, you know, that thing that you do when you put it on you and it's there it's for like the rest of your life. It's like something kind of stays there for the rest of your life. Yeah. And it's super cool. It's been trendy for a long time. Yeah, and apparently it came, it like originated from uh, Polynesians. Yeah. Must have been some kind of I've never thing. even heard of them before, but they came up with the whole tattoo thing. And you know what? Props to them because tattoo people are making tons of money off And of like, them. look at us Americans. Like, go somewhere where there's a lot of people. We're all like colored on. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> and they say once you get one, that you probably. For some, getting a tattoo is a way of expressing themselves. And so you can get like. It's like a, like a McDonald's logo on you if you're like McDonald's, or you can get like. Like a Star Wars something, if you really like Star Wars. Or you can get one that actually has a legit meaning. <laughs> right, so like some people get like things that say like I hurt mom and stuff like that, which is really cute. Get one that like tributes to like a deceased relative or something. Something that's going to stick with you for the rest of your life and you won't be embarrassed to tell people about it. Except for you always have those one tattoos that someone got when they were just not exactly sober and kind of regret for the rest of their lives. Good news is, you can cover those up, but it's probably really expensive, so just, just make a good decision. So, you know, I guess my advice to you is uh, think about it before you actually do it. Exactly, and actually one of our good friends, Audrey Little, just got her first tattoo this week on Tuesday. We're going to go into commercials, and when we come back, you are going to get to hear what Audrey had to say. Need to get away for a night? Come to the Capri Motel. We have 45 rooms, smoking and non-smoking. Many of our rooms are designed for handicap accessibility. All of our rooms are equipped with refrigerators, cable TV, and free Wi-Fi. All major credit cards are accepted. Coming soon, the Capri Luxury Suites. Call to reserve your room today, 402-729-3317.
you graduated. And um, to go along with this whole tattoo thing, Audrey actually just got a tattoo. So when did you get it? I got it on Tuesday afternoon. Okay, and so what made you want to get the tattoo in the first place? Well, I've always wanted a tattoo ever since I was little, because so my dad has a bunch of them, and I know it's kind of a way to express yourself openly to others that you don't even know. Yeah. So, um, what is the, the meaning behind your tattoo? Well, my tattoo is a feather, and it has the words, let it be, in it, and the reason why I chose that tattoo is because I'm a really big fan of the Beatles, yeah. and the song, Let It Be, is one of my favorite songs. And plus, it's kind of a meaning like, if you're going through a tough time, it's good to just let things go, or just let time take course. Just let it be. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's a good way to live. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I actually like that song from the Beatles. <laughs> um, so, you chose to put it on the back of your shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. So, why did you choose that spot? Well, I wanted to choose a spot where it wouldn't really be so noticeable because yeah. as when I get a job later on in life, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want to see a tattoo that's just open anywhere on my body. So I figured it would be good to get a spot on my back somewhere so no one could really see it whenever I wear clothes or something. It's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just curious, did it hurt a lot? Before I got the tattoo, uh, so many people were like, it's going to hurt, it's going to hurt so bad. And it, it did at first, about the first five, ten minutes, it, it literally felt like someone was taking the tip of a knife and like carving into your skin. That's really what it felt like. That's the first thing I thought. was like, it feels like someone is carving into my skin. But about after five, ten minutes, it's like that area of your body that they're drawing on, it goes numb from the pain. So after about 10 minutes, it's like you don't even, you get so used to it, you don't even feel it. Yeah. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. I would imagine that it would hurt even worse, like on your foot or somewhere sensitive. Yeah, that's, that's another reason why I chose to put it on my back is because I wanted a place where there was muscle. Yeah. <laughs> so it wouldn't hurt as much where there wasn't as much bone. Exactly. Do you think getting a tattoo will have any influence on future jobs or anything? Um, I think it depends on where people put them. I Obviously, if you're going to put them like on your hands or on your arms somewhere, then it would probably affect your chances of getting a good job or anything. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it just depends on where people put them. I think it's good to just think through if you're going to get tattooed, to think through like where you're going to put it, why you're going to put it there, yeah. you know, the meaning behind them and all that stuff. So, do you plan on getting another one at all, like uh, any time, doesn't have to be soon, but at all? I might later on the, down the road. I, I thought to myself, I was going to see how my first one went, and then if it went good, then I probably would get one later on down the road, so I actually might, so if I find another good design. Yeah. So thanks, Audrey, for coming in and talking to me, and we'll get going with the rest of the show. Wash day not exactly rocking your world? Call Dirty Biz Laundry at 402-217-0784. Our wash, dry, fold, pickup, and delivery service will give you a break on your day off. Dirty Biz Laundry, just a stone's throw from your home. On July 22nd, uh, maybe you heard the royal baby was born. Woohoo! Go England! Is that where they're from? That's where they're from. The baby was born and his name is George. George Alexander think... Lewis. And yep, that's a pretty typical royal baby name. Uh, yeah, George? They should have named it something insane. Like, 
Well, they're royal. They like to keep it simple and traditional, so right. George is the way to go. That's very royal sounding. Exactly. That will look good on plaques and trophies and stuff. Exactly. Whatever. Kings have. So it's been a huge deal. All of America has been like freaking out about it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> well, That's England thing. You know, we were at journalism camp, and almost everyone there was like, "Oh, the royal baby was born," and it was crazy. Crazy. Like, could you imagine having a baby like that? And then everyone being like, "Yeah, that's crazy." And so that baby is born. I don't really know what we're gonna do with it from now until it's probably just gonna send a bunch of gifts. Like, <laughs> congratulations. In case you know you're missing out on some of the recent movies because we don't have a movie theater, which totally does not. It's not cool. We thought we would update you on movies that are close by, so Beatrice. Beatrice is the closest, I think. And um, <laughs> and so they have Grown Ups 2, which, you know, if you saw Grown Ups the first one, that one was pretty good. Had kind of like an all-star cast, like David Spade and Adam Sandler and, and the guy from Mall Cop. I think his name's Kevin or something. Kevin sounds like really Kevin. Close. I think it's Kevin James. I'm not sure. And then there was Chris Rock, and it was like... It was it was awesome. so funny. It, and maybe you awesome. remember the uh, famous phrase from it, let's get chocolate wasted. Yes. That's the movie. They have a sequel and it's pretty good. I've heard a lot of things about it. And then there's also that movie called The Heat, which if you know who Melissa McCarthy is, she's like in Identity Theft and she was in Bridesmaids. She's super funny and she's starring with Sandra Bullock and their police. And I don't know about you, but Sandra Bullock is an awesome actress. She is. And it looks really funny, so we'll have to go watch that. However, it's rated R, so... Maybe not. If you're, you know, under the age of 17, you probably can't go watch it. Sorry. See, that's why it also helps to be of age. Yes. Yeah. So, I went to UNL for a journalism camp. Jenny went with me, along with some of our, our fellow journalism students. Yep, and we, uh, you know bunked in the same dorm and everything. And, and it was super college-like because we walked a lot. Yeah, it was like a good little taste of college life. It was. And basically, um, I went for a yearbook and it was really beneficial yeah. for our yearbook, I think. And I went for photography. That was nice. Yeah, she met a really interesting professor. I met very interesting people. I got to talk to a lot of hobos in downtown Lincoln. And just some strange business owners downtown. Fun. It was it was so fun. You got to meet so many different people. It's true, and we had some awesome counselors that just really pumped us up. And there was free candy. And mandatory fun. And mandatory fun, which is fun, although it was mandatory. Yeah. And then you know, got to do some cool bonding with some of our new friends. Yes, I met a lot of new people, and they're all really cool. So. So. And, and so, so. that's it for the news for this week. And here's a commercial break, and we will return soon. Yeah. Have you seen iGen 4, the latest in high-speed digital color printing presses? Exceptional quality with shorter run on digital jobs. Email your file for even quicker turnaround time. No job is too small for the iGen. We are prepared to print from postcard size to anything as large as 26 inches. McBattis also features a Kongsberg digital die cutter. Lightning fast for profitable digital short run production. Try McBattis for your specialty cutting needs. McBattis Printing, ready to meet all your printing needs, from printing to die cutting right down to the folding and gluing. Call us at 402 729 3722. Did you know MSA Promotions of Fairbury does in house screen printing and embroidery and carries Jeff's spirit wear? Stop by and get yours today. Okay, that's it for this week's show, short and sweet. Keeping it simple for this week since we were at camp most of the time. So hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully it was fun for you to watch. And we will see you next week, so see ya. See you. There we go. Okay, with our senior year approaching, they're <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, um... Uh...